The James Webb Telescope brings us closer to the next era in astronomy. James Webb has huge hopes to dig habitable exoplanets, where one day we could look for evidence of life beyond our planet. But habitability is no simple matter, and locating another Earth-like planet might be tougher than you suspect. Stars don't have artificial lights or signals. If there are planets with advanced civilizations, then they might. And this is what the brightest minds in the space community have been rattling about for a while now. New images of the birth and death of stars, early planets, and exoplanets were released recently. These images have shown signs of artificial light on Proxima b. The images of artificial light have been bugging the space industry since late 2020. The signal is yet to be confirmed, since it could just be an echo of our civilization. Light can be a powerful indicator of the source of life. While our planet also emits a ton of light into the void, it isn't exactly visible from space. Only a tiny percentage of Earth's surface is urbanized, so we wouldn't be seen when viewed from Proxima Centauri. A greater percentage of urbanization could help us see a foreign civilization more clearly, like 100%. A 100% urbanization would be a planet entirely covered by a single giant city. But this exists in the science fiction world. If worlds like this exist, future telescopes might be able to detect them in the coming decade. If Proxima b hosts a civilization as lit up as ours, Webb wouldn't be able to detect it unless it's 500 times brighter. Proxima b is too close to its host star. The planet has the glare of the host star, so the resolution is not possible with the current technology. When such is the case, how can we expect any telescope to detect artificial light on the planet? The problem is that we don't have technology powerful enough to catch light from distant planets. Webb's telescope is here to solve the crisis to some extent. If powerful enough, it can detect whether or not life exists outside of Earth by examining if its lights are on or off. Future telescopes such as Lavoir or large UV optical infrared surveyors could come to be even more capable than Webb at spotting the glow of distant civilizations. These telescopes won't be around till 2035 kicks in, so it's a long way to go before that. It is difficult to answer whether or not the light seen on Proxima b is real since no one has seen this distant planet that orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri right in the Goldilocks zone. Though the JWST is the most powerful telescope ever launched into space, it has limitations. Proxima b caught everyone's attention when a glowing red light was allegedly detected while accelerating through its atmosphere. NASA officials declined to comment on the alleged sighting, although this reporter detected smiles and a few winks. While the light sources might not spill the facts, there are other shreds of evidence supporting Proxima b to be a habitable planet. Proxima Centauri b is the closest potentially habitable exoplanet to Earth. It is orbiting in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star at a distance of just 4.2 light years from us. Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, so one side of it is always facing Proxima Centauri and the other side is perpetually dark. Although we don't have anything similar in planets in our solar system, the phenomenon is not unusual to find in exoplanets. Mercury was thought to be tidally locked once, but the situation turned out to be rather different. Tidal locking of exoplanets spells implications for habitability, because astronomers expect one side of the planet to be scorching while the other has it normal. However, this could be mitigated by an atmosphere with winds that spread the heat around the planet and make it more habitable to life. The day side is the side of the planet facing the star because it is in perpetual daylight, and the other side is called the night side. The host star, Proxima Centauri, is invisible to the naked eye due to its low average luminosity. Plus, it is smaller compared to other stars, at only about an eighth of the mass of the Sun. But its brightness rises on occasion. Proxima is what is known as a flare star, so the star's body makes it prone to random and dramatic changes in brightness, which not only trigger brilliant bursts of starlight, but, fused with other factors, mean that Proxima Centauri is in for very long life. Proxima Centauri is part of a triple star system. Its two companions, Alpha Centauri A and B, lie out of frame. Although it is a close neighbor by cosmic standards, Proxima Centauri remains a point-like object, hinting at the vast scale of the universe around us. The habitable zone of Proxima Centauri b is so close to the star because the star is a low-mass red dwarf with a temperature of only about 3000 Kelvin. That's about half the sun's temperature. There is a possibility that water exists on Proxima b. There have also been claims that it has an atmosphere protecting it from extreme heat and scattering heat even to the dark side. How can we be sure? Harvard's Avi Loeb and astronomer Laura Kreidberg propose using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. 
The long-delayed JWST can take photos of infrared light on the surface of Proxima b. This would help us confirm whether or not the exoplanet has water or is covered by an atmosphere. If a rocky planet, like Proxima b, has an atmosphere, it would absorb light from its star and re-emit it as infrared light. Things aren't so simple, however. There are odds of the proposed method working out, but other factors have to be regarded. For instance, the existence of an atmosphere may not guarantee life. Proxima b may turn out to be like Venus, with an atmosphere 90 times thicker than ours and extreme heat. Still, Loeb and Kreidberg's plan is the only choice we have for a glimmer of an answer about this Earth next door. But there are many challenges to understanding worlds that are alien from ours. The planet's distance from its star or its composition has been known to influence climate, but recent modeling work reveals that there's more to it than just the distance. The land's distribution across a planet's surface also greatly influences its potential habitability. Researchers say land diversity has a large effect on climates of tidally locked planets. This effect is difficult to detect on real planets and depends on several factors. You can't truly understand the habitability of such a planet unless you know factors like its surface pressure, its clouds, the amount of radiation it receives from its star, and the amount and distribution of land. But its challenge comes from applying this theoretical research to real data on the exoplanet. Other than Proxima b, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured the pieces of evidence for clouds and haze with a distinct sign of water in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. The observation reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light. Webb has demonstrated its unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away by giving them the most detailed data to date. Hubble Space Telescope did not hold back on analyzing numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades. However, capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observation marks a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. There are a lot of hopes in store for Webb, and finding someone else shining light in the void gives our world more hope. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, let us know what would you like the next video to be about. I'll be reading you in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future updates. See you soon.